Thank you. <laughs> uh, speaking of your missus, let's find out what happened when the gorgeous Latin sensation Jeanette went to Ireland to go behind the scenes at their version of Strictly. Love Jeanette. What am I do without you? Strictly Come Dancing features all over the world. And where are we off to today? Ireland, of course. Why else would I be wearing a shamrock on my head? Ireland's version of Strictly is called Dancing with the Stars, and the first series aired in January of this year. Tonight, the world's most popular dancing extravaganza has reached Ireland. Welcome to Dancing with the Stars! Yeah. Like Strictly, the series proved to be a big hit, and in June, it was announced that it would be returning for a second series. Now, there are a few familiar faces from the Strictly family on the show including one of the presenters, Nicky Byrne, who got to the Strictly quarterfinals in 2012. I've come to meet him to find out a little bit more about the show. So, you were a contestant on Strictly Come Dancing, but now you're hosting it. Yeah, it's when I heard the rumors last year that Dancing with the Stars was coming to Ireland. I was like, I've got to be a part of this somehow. Oh. You host the show with someone else, don't you? Amanda Byram. Yes, Amanda's from Ireland originally. You know, nothing will phase her. Near the end, actually, on the final show, they asked myself and Amanda to do a part of the group dance. So we didn't have much of a rehearsal. Like, it was only a few hours. Do you think I got it right, Jeanette? Oh, no, no Karen. That one moment. Karen would not be proud of I know, Nikki. I know. <laughs> I stopped. <laughs> Oh I've messed this up. I think I made a mistake in the dance, but we won't tell anybody. No, 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 no. Say nothing to no one. <laughs> no wonder I didn't win Strictly. <laughs> what did the judges like here versus the judges over there? Pretty similar. Um, we have uh, Lorraine Barry. We also have uh, Brian Redmond. We have a, a guy called Julian Benson. Uh, but Brian would be the nasty one. He's a bit too wiggly at times and maybe even difficult to stomach at moments as well. Oh. I always have the guys back, you know. I, You've been there, Exactly, yeah. and you know how it feels. I think it went well for where we I thought we're babies. No, we didn't yeah. see any mistakes. Tell me a little bit about some of the most memorable moments. This guy called Huey Mon, who had been on uh, Big Brother in the UK, and he decided to apply fake tan himself continuously. So when we kept going to ad break, the producers were coming over to him saying, Huey, you have to stop. I want to start off by asking, how tanned is tanned? <laughs> you can never be too tanned. There's oh no such thing. God. He actually put the show in such a high profile. It appeared on American chat shows, it appeared in the UK press. What's this guy in Ireland doing with his face on Dancing with the Stars? <laughs> By the way, Kiwi, you're trending on Twitter, we don't know what. No. <laughs> now, what a lot of you probably don't know is that the pro dancers have to start rehearsing the group dances months in advance. And luckily for us, the pros in Dublin started rehearsing this week, so I thought I'd go and take a look. Strictly's very own AJ Pritchard's not-so-little brother is a professional dancer on the Irish Dancing with the Stars. Tell me a little bit about your partner last season. Uh, last season I had a model uh, named Talia. How far did you get with your partner? Week two. Ah. <laughs> oh. Yes. This year, Hopefully sorry. this year, yeah, we're going to be until the final and we're going to win it. It's going to be great, yeah. You're quite tall, though. You're going to need a tall one, aren't you? Yeah, I don't know where I've come from because AJ is absolutely... <laughs> AJ's slightly yeah. different. All right, fingers crossed then. There's more familiar faces here too. Strictly pros and champions Darren Bennett and Lilia Kopolova are the creative producer and choreographer on the show. I want to know more than anything, what are the biggest differences between the Irish Dancing with the Stars and Strictly? Yeah, we have some lovely themes. Last year we had a Valentine's week, which was really beautiful. And we also have the Irish week, of course, St. Patrick's Day. The river dance coming in and perform. Uh, the energy they produce is unbelievable. We also have the switch up which means, of course, the couples get to dance with another partner. During that episode, it creates different stresses. Uh, we get jealousy. Jealousy. Uh, if you had to pick between Ksenia and Karen, uh, no, we won't ask that yeah. question. We won't ask that. <laughs> and what have been some of those like most memorable moments for you? Contemporary ballroom, oh. which is a really nice mix of contemporary dance and different ballroom styles. Des Carhill, famous sports commentator, doing his famous Paso Doble and right. Austin Powers number. So yeah, we had some really, really standout moments and I'm very much looking forward to season two and there's a lot Coming of work back. to do between now and yeah. then. It's so exciting to see another series of Dancing with the Stars getting underway. And I was going to wish them good luck, but as the Irish say, if you're lucky enough to be Irish, then you're lucky enough. 
Thank you, gorgeous Jeanette. Time now to meet my next guests. They storm the towel forum with their dramatic passage over. It's Susan and her partner, Kevin! I absolutely loved that flamenco. Yeah. I thought that was really fantastic. At times, it looked like a puzzle doble that I shrank in the wash. I thought you covered the floor very, very well. I think that you had some nice styling in there. So well done. It has gripped the nation. <laughs> it has. It was a big moment for you two. It was huge. Did the weekend live up to expectations, Susan? Absolutely. It was. Blackpool was everything I thought it was going to be and more. Being in the Tower Ballroom and doing the Paso Doble with Mr. Kevin Clifton truly was one of the greatest moments of my life. It was wonderful. Oh, later. <laughs> yes, Serious amount of love there. I love Fridays because you both got your tans. I know, I'm getting <laughs> dark. I can see myself on the screen, I'm getting dark about a minute. Um, <laughs> Susan, we know you can get emotional in, the, yes. in these routines. What was yeah. going through your mind in the middle of this incredible Just sport? absolute pride that we'd made it to Blackpool uh, from, you know, starting off not wondering if, you know, would we make week three, week four? We'd made it to Blackpool. I was in a big flamenco dress. He was in his wee gold jacket with his chest out. <laughs> I know, lovely. Uh, and it was just, I just felt really proud that we'd, we'd yeah. made it there to do the dance that Kevin had always wanted to do. And of course, Kevin is your dream dance. Did you yeah. sort of suddenly think in the middle of the week, actually, there's quite a lot of pressure to put on, on <laughs> yeah. Susan? I don't want to do here. it, I don't want to do it. <laughs> but she did do you proud, didn't oh, she? Oh, she did so amazingly. Like I said, I've been wanting to do this for years. And when we finally got to do it, I know sort of is supposed to be sort of the man's dance, like in general, but I, th I had this vision of having Susan in the middle of the floor and she started doing the, um, the flamenco. And I just thought, I, what I really would love is if everyone starts clapping along, but it's only going to happen if Susan's big enough with the performance. She, look and off she went. Go on, girl. Look oh, at that, eh? Look at that. And the whole crowd. The whole crowd started Whip straight you. away. And I got chills down my spine. I went, they're doing it. It's happening, it's happening. It's this, this moment I've been waiting for for so long. It's happening. <laughs> You've made him so happy. I know. Such an iconic film as well. Just wondering if anyone uh, from the film has been in touch at all just to say how brilliant that was. Um, we've had the, the musical have been in touch saying we oh, did yes. them proud. Because oh. uh, Strip the Ballroom is coming as a musical to the West End. So they were That's pleased exciting. about it. Yeah, it was yeah. lovely, actually. We we have a little something for you, actually. We could possibly no. do one better than this. Take, have a little look. Hi, Kevin and Susan. It's Tara here in Sydney. 25 years ago, I did the Paso Doble, but I have to say congratulations on your magnificent Paso Doble. Best of luck. <laughs> a life lived in fear is a life half lived. <laughs> it was amazing. We've been so like that. Oh, no one that's anything. unbelievable. Oh. That saying that she just said from the film at the end there, a life lived in fear is a life half lived, was written under my collar on my the suit oh, I got married in. Oh, my That's goodness. That's how much oh, I love the film. I can't take any more. Thank you so much to Tara oh, Morrison. Wow. I know. Oh, wow. Flew all the way to Sydney to get you that one. Um, <laughs> and so you follow that with an American smooth yes. this week. You're getting emotional. We're all getting emotional. <laughs> Beyond the Sea, Bobby Darren, it's a classic house training gone this week. This has been my favourite weekend strictly. <gasps> Without really? question. Oh, wow. We're doing Why? a beautiful kind of Fred and Ginger, yeah. American Smooth. It's gorgeous, it's fun, it's joyous, it's romantic. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know it yet, but it is. <laughs> 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 Try and say, I'm gonna kiss you, and he goes, No, no, it's not appropriate. <laughs> no, not in this, not in this <laughs> one. Um, I love it, and the concept. Okay. So yeah. on, on the deck of a ship, and it's very sort of um, Fred and Ginger sort of style. And um, I'm I'm a naval captain, and <gasps> uh, <you> <laughs> and Susan's a passenger on the ship, and <laughs> and we're we're courting. We're courting. It's such a good we're word. The early, yeah. Yeah. Of we're the early stages of romance. We might kiss. We're gonna kiss. We're gonna kiss. We're gonna kiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! You you haven't 
haven't <laughs> lived since the Charleston yeah. in week two. You've been getting fits of giggles doing them this yes, week. Yes, I have. <laughs> Tell me more. It's really high up. <laughs> I, I'm quite short and anywhere above five foot is terrifying. <laughs> so we've been trying some uh, quite ambitious uh, lifts and I kept screaming, put me down, put me down. I'm frightened. Oh my goodness so, me. It'll be okay though, won't it? Uh, I'll, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Uh, now, before you go, I have yeah. to ask you, actually, about a tweet you yeah. sent to a fan, Susan. Yeah. Uh, here we go. We do the rumba in the training room to make ourselves laugh. No one will ever <laughs> see it. No one. You then go on to say, we rumba to another level's freak me. <laughs> I don't think anyone needs to see that. Well, we all disagree. <laughs> we feel we would like to see that. Yeah. Yeah. You go. Well, it starts off with a bit of wiggling like this. Starts off with a bit of that. Uh, yeah, this is Debbie amazing. Debbie, okay. yeah. Debbie McGee, like Debbie McGee. Debbie, Debbie McGee. McGee. Oh. That's about, that's about as far as it goes, isn't it? The Wait, that's that, so. amazing. Okay. Susan, Kevin, <laughs> and <laughs> Just for you lot. Uh, you carry on. Now, as Wanna we all know, know, I like to get my warm-ups from Ian Waite. <laughs> Gethin, on the other hand, likes to get his from someone else. I think she's about to kiss him. Take a look at this. <laughs> I am with the funny man that gets everyone in the mood for Strictly on a Saturday night. That's Stuart Holdham. Stu, always good to see no, you. Lovely to see you, Gethin. About time we I have know. a little chat. Yeah, I've been waiting 12 series for this. We've all been waiting to talk to you, Stu. But for everyone at home, just explain exactly what you do on Strictly. So I'm a, a compare, if you like, but I'm called a, a warm-up guy. So I entertain the audience before, during, and, and kind of after the show as well. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I've been doing it for quite a while now. How long is it, like 12 years? Yeah, 12. It's my 12th series now. You do a brilliant job of it as well. Everyone's yeah, in the mood right. for that show on a Saturday yeah. night. I'm the best in my price range, mate. So, you know, that's all I can say, yeah. So they tell me. Have you ever actually learned to dance? Uh, do you know what? It's a very good question you ask that because, no. Uh, you know, I know all the dancers of Latin and ballroom, but never dance whatsoever. And I've always wanted... It would be a dream come true if I could actually dance. There you go. Yeah, I'm sure one of the pros will be watching well, I've this. Asked. I've asked, yeah. and uh, only Giovanni has actually accepted <laughs> the challenge. So uh, I was hoping one of the girls would say yes, but it's not happened yet. Fingers crossed. Uh, one thing you are famous for is your attire, your suits. I see yeah. you've brought a selection with you. Yeah, I like a wacky suit, uh, Gethin. I think uh, that you've seen it before, but uh, I've got about 25 different suits. These are a small selection of the bad boys that I will wear on a Saturday night. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, so you've got... Uh, so, yeah, you do themed as well. Obviously, when you do movie nights, you do Halloween and all yeah. that comes... Yeah, yeah, I've got a couple here. So I'll always do... I'll all have a suit for, for the uh, special nights that we do here as well. So we've got... It's great. So I've got a Love Heart one there, mm. TV test card... <laughs> Not sure whether you can see that one, but then you've got uh, confetti, galaxy, and then for the special, uh, special oh, kind of uh, nights, yeah, very Miami very vice, that It one, makes yeah. the one you're wearing look quite dull, Stu. What's going on? Well, that's the thing. This is uh, this. This has a little trick up its sleeve. So you oh, yeah. press press a little button here, and then et voila. Oh, oh, strictly we're, we're gone all neon. Well, yeah, this is probably going to be uh, making a little appearance, maybe on the final. Look forward to that. Listen, I know that you have a lot of fun with the judges. Yeah. Who's your favourite? Uh, I mean, I love all the judges, obviously, but uh, I would say Craig. Mm -hmm. I do have a bit of banter with Craig. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I've known him a long time. Well, in fact, I've known him about three faces ago. So uh, we go back a long way. That guy's the single reason why aliens refuse to make contact with us. But, you know, he, he takes a big ribbon from me. And, he, and he's Nothing. looking great these days. He's Enough looking great. Yeah, he's looking great. We love Craig. He's looking great. Thanks, Stu. Thanks very much. Yeah, nice to meet you. Oh, Stu, I love that boy. <laughs> One of the hardest working people on Strictly. Uh, time now to take things down a notch. It's that part of the show where we all try to hold back the tears. This series has been such an emotional rollercoaster for our celebrities. They really couldn't do it without their partners. Take a look at this. Oh. I really don't think I could have had a better partner than Giovanni. We have so much fun together and he's just such a lovely human being. We are both on the same page. That be such an amazing person to work with. Molly is definitely the perfect partner for me because I want perfection and we're always striving for that. He's taught me so much about dancing and just about life. I would feel like the luckiest girl every week. For me, Alexandra, she's always someone who comes every day and loves everything what she does. I'm going to miss her when this finish. 
Paul has taught me what real partnership means. I hope to God he realises that without him, I wouldn't have been able to get through this at all. And I'm very, very thankful for his, just for him. I've learned so much from Ali Ash. I've learned to believe in myself more than I ever have. She's pushing me as much as I'm pushing her. She has so much talent, so much potential. To see her progress from Monday to Saturday, it's, it's epic. I'm under no illusion that I'm absolutely still here because of her. Um, she's dragged me through, kicking and screaming sometimes. He wants to work really hard. He wants to get it right. I just want him to remember how far he's come. To see him changing week by week, I couldn't be more thankful. He taught me that the ultimate thing, especially with this, is to enjoy it. It's been really, really amazing. And I know, I know we're going to be friends, like forever. I would say to Kevin, thank you for teaching me how to dance. Stop, everyone. I can't, I can't take any more. Uh, it was very, very beautiful. Just like this, Lord, is the return of our Friday panel. Let's, uh, right, we're going to dive straight in with Molly and AJ and their quick step to Umbrella Ella Ella. Different version, though. Here it is. Do you like the sound of this one, Claire? Uh, she's got fast beat, Molly has, and they're a great couple. I think they go very, very well in this. Yes. Yes. She's light and she's like a flute fairy and you could pick her up and spin her and, you know. And he did last she week. Like oh, that oh, last yeah, was week. Really good. I she's, thought that was the best dance of the show, to be honest. Really? I thought it was right. absolutely mind-blowing. And she's got these amazing flippy ankles like a ballerina. And so the Charleston, she's just flipping all over the but place. the lifts. The lifts. Oh, I know. It's like plate spinning. Death defying, wasn't it? <laughs> it really was. <laughs> Quick step, quite a tricky dance to master. Mm. Uh, can Molly crack it here? I feel like if anyone can, she can because she she has got those wonderful flippy feet. She's got fast, she's just, she is nippy. nippy. She moves around yeah. the floor quickly and nippy gracefully. like a little pony. Isn't she? Oh, yes. Horse yes. references. Go. I love there it. It's revolting. Um, <laughs> now, Russell, Debbie, and Giovanni are doing an Argentine tango. You could say Argentine tango, whichever you prefer. It's a fan favourite. Can the gorgeous Flexi McGee rise to the challenge? Well, I are. think she can. I yeah. mean, I spent six weeks doing an Argentine tango with Flavia and Vincent in the West End, and I was dancing with a scarf. Really? And it is the trickiest, trickiest dance. All of that oh stuff. Oh, my word. All those ganchos. Ganchos. And those but also, yeah. she's really oh. precise. She is. Debbie, and you think of all the stuff she did on stage with yeah. Paul, it's all about precision, and she's a performer, and she gets it spot on, and I think she's a really good athlete because she takes training. The things that woman can do with her legs. Well, and yeah. honestly, oh. Flexi McGee, I'm all team Flexi McGee. We are. Oh. Kylie's doing her moves on tour and everything. It's oh. getting out of hand. I love Giovanni. Who would yes. do anything to get to the final? Oh, I know he's, he's he's been amazing this year. Let's move on to Gemma and Aliash now. Higher scores at the weekend. They got a couple of tens for their American smooth. Can they stay up the leaderboard, Cherry, with their samba? Let's have a little look and see what you think of their action here. I thought that yeah. her American Smooth was one of the most beautiful dancers I have ever seen on Strictly, maybe ever. I agree. Those long legs and the lifts and the gliding round, and she gets better and better every single week. Nobody, I think, improves as quickly as her. She just absorbs all the advice. Yeah. It's incredible. We she, lost in She's those like words, a swimmer, I think. She, yeah. The physique oh. of a swimmer. <gasps> yes. An animal. <sighs> An animal? No, Which, what animal? Like a swan. What animal would she be? A, a seal. A seal. An a otter. seal. I don't know if you want to ever want to describe a woman as being a seal. But, you know, <laughs> I know, a gazelle, perhaps. Yes. Um, we've, uh, Someone who um, needs something in the can teeth. Can I just say, when I was yeah. that man... Oh, yes, you, many you were, years ago, which I loved. Do you remember that the, one of the most difficult dances for a woman is the samba? Yes, very much so. the female so. celeb. But that's what Vincent Simone said this week, only this week. So really? I think Gemma's doing very, very well with that. Uh, Joe and Katya, another quick step for us this weekend. Um, could this be another high scorer for Joe? Sherry, what do you think? I think that he... I mean, you could put... He's so perfectly formed, you could put him in your pocket. And every single dance he does, he does with panache. But I think this is incredibly 
This is incredibly difficult, and so many people come a cropper on this and one. And Katya's choreography is supreme. Yes, and, that and Charleston, really complicated. When they, were the, when they were the little toy soldiers was my yes. favourite Charleston. It was, it was fun, it was brilliant. I loved the rave one last week, I, I the think party he's one. got great endurance as well as huge yes. versatility. Yeah. yeah. So I think he's, he, he'll, so, he'll, he'll... such a quick yeah, dance. Exactly. He's got to be impossible. really fit for it. And they're yes. going to be dressed as construction workers. Just uh, adding that in well, there. Like Bob the Builder. Obviously. Yes. Yes. Possibly, yes. I was thinking more YMCA, but I might be... I was thinking more YMCA. Why did we think that? I don't know. Who knows? It's a mystery. A Paso Doblathon as well. Quickly, who do you think might win that? Susan and Kevin. OK. David. Russell, who could win that? Oh, What's yes, it's got to be. How do you pronounce his name? Davard? Davard. 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 OK, Davard. just the tricky question. Who is going home this weekend, Claire? Whoever's second bottom on the leaderboard. <laughs> oh, nicely done there. Russell, the pressure of a name. Come back to me later. OK, <laughs> Jerry. I think one of the boys, I think the girls are just smashing it. OK, you have been just divine. Please <laughs> come back and see us soonest. Uh, give it up for our gorgeous Friday panel. <laughs> The end is near, and so we face our final trip to Elstree with our dear, dear friend, Gethin. Let's see what he's been up to this week. Today, in fact, Fresh shall we go now? Fresh from the much-talked-about Paso Doblathon rehearsals are these three. Guys, yes. how do you go? Well, you've got here the most competitive, oh, the Russian, competitive. the Italian, the English, fresh from competition world. AJ, you carry on. I was off. It was full, <laughs> pu full pasta with three highlights, two minutes long. As soon as that music starts, I'm like gone. They all, they all stand still, and I'm like, go on, go, go. <laughs> I'm not you see, this is a competition, actually. What? Uh, it's not a competition. Uh, Come on. Because I already what won. were you doing talking? <laughs> <laughs> Why well, this competition? This isn't a competition. This is like your so bread and butter. Okay. You're That's used fine. to this, aren't you? You're used yeah. to dancing against we each love other. It. How did the celebs react? Actually, they liked it. Yeah. But they laughed more than they The first before. run, Molly just smiled. Smiled yeah. at everyone. I was like, this is not, <laughs> this is not happening. Mm -hmm. I don't think that we remember what, what just happened. Yeah. Just, I just said, well, just follow me. And that's it. You're like, you're going to win anyway, so it's fine. Exactly, it's fine. You're going to win. Yeah, so there's, there's seven couples are on that dance floor. Does it quite quite crowded and it's all yeah. about stagecraft isn't my it? heel got caught in Giovanni's yes, shoe I, I fell down <laughs> elbows yes. elbows are very good yes, for kind of just assisting out but yeah. we just say keep the shape we tell yeah. them to keep the just, shape you know what I mean <laughs> 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 I can see what you mean <laughs> lucky I'm not doing it be in oh, trouble okay, uh, already so, uh, won I'll take second so. but on the night it will be fine <laughs> uh, we'll, be we'll be fight it'll be fight <laughs> Fight or fine, we it's shall find out tomorrow night. Memorable. Good luck. Thank yes. you. Crazy people. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, everyone's gone crackers this week. Thank you so much, Gethin. That's all we have time for tonight. Thanks to my glorious guests. And make sure you catch all the action with Tess and Claude tomorrow night at 6.50 on BBC One. I'll be back on Monday with the next couple to leave the competition. Who will it be? But now singing us out with her brand new single, Alone. It's the gorgeous, the wonderful Jessie Ware.